both of those things. Yep. It's tough to do. Margaret, you've got a little penny, a little penny flip. Thank penny you. For your thoughts. Penny for my <laughs> thoughts. And let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the weather, my goodness, we're seeing a change here. Oh, a big change about to take place. A cold front's going to move through. You're going to get some rain. But we had rain tonight. And we had a rainbow. Mm. That's the gift of rain. So you can see from Gabrielle, thank you for that shot. It occurred just recently. So glad to share that with you. So wait, here's the good news. We really do not have a problem with fog right now. But as you go into the evening, we're not quite done. Still that potential that you'll have some fog as you go into the evening. But tomorrow morning, not seeing the problem because we've got a cold front moving through. You're going to have some rain in the morning, then sunshine in the afternoon. And oh, by the way, that wind is really going to blow. No advisories in effect. We do have a wind advisory to the west, a uh, no, marine fog advisory to the west not for us. We have had a little bit of rain. In fact, this one shower that moved over Lake Vista, just heard from Renee, 3100 of an inch of rain. Now you can see the rain uh, moving towards the Slidell twin span, so be aware of that. Here's the big picture. You see that right there? That's the cold front. It's going to move through in the morning, give us a little bit of rain, and let me tell you, our temperatures are going to drop. There's the dry air associated with it. Then we can look out west. We've got this upper level low, and I've been talking about it for a little bit. It's been hanging out, but look at all of the moisture that's moving to the north. What's going to happen is this upper level low is moving our way, and that means our rain chances are going to go up. Looks like it's going to be Saturday into Sunday and also Monday. Not a constant rain and it looks like the rain is going to start late Saturday, fingers crossed. But in the morning we've got some rain moving through. I'm not expecting a lot. High temperatures are going to be in the morning and then those temperatures begin to drop in the afternoon. So how much rain are we talking about? Maybe a tenth of an inch of rain. That's it. And then look at the winds. So here we are, 630. We still have that southwest wind shifts to the north and it's going to be gusting 25, 30 miles per hour, maybe even higher. Then we can look at the big picture. So there is the front moving through highs, upper 60s. 60s, but that's at midnight. In the afternoon, we're going to be in the low 60s. Keep in mind the wind is going to be blowing, but we're going to get sunshine in here. Then as you go into Friday, high pressure is building and the wind is dying down. That means that your temperatures are dropping. Morning lows, mid 30s to the low 40s. So it's going to be a lot colder for your Friday. High temperatures, mid to upper 50s. As you go into Saturday, there's the high pressure moving to the east. We pick up a southerly flow, 2 o'clock, not looking bad. So it's showing that that higher rain chance is going to be later in the evening hours. Small craft advisory for Thursday. You're going to need to turn the heater on Friday. I had the air on today. And then that humidity is returning Saturday. What about New Year's Eve? Looks like temperatures in the mid-60s. Hopefully the rain will hold off. I can't promise you that, so be aware of that potential. Meanwhile, we did have some blue sky today. That helped us heat up a high temperature of 80 degrees across the area, mid-70s to 80. Right now it's 73 degrees, and that's typical of the temperatures about the area. So tomorrow afternoon, sunny temperatures low 60s. Then as you go into Friday, highs in the 50s. Saturday, we're in the 60s, rain developing late, rain likely Sunday, also into Monday, the potential for locally heavy rain.